Well, the main changes in terms of technology and engines anyway, is the whole drive with emissions. And look, we've had the BG talk today and that's really where it's, it's changed in terms of what we're talking about today is talking about oil changes and cooling services and stuff. That's changed completely. It was about changing your oil, changing your oil. A drive towards efficiency, isn't it? And engines have become so delicate now and uncom complex and delicate. Um, whereas, like, I grew up in the trade and I grew up about what Kieran was talking about, the big engines, your, your two-litre Toyota diesel non-turbos. You could run them without oil or water, they wouldn't stop. Whereas now, it, they're so finely tuned, so as I say, delicate, you know. If they're not maintained, if, if we don't understand them, they stop. And, and as Kieran alluded to earlier, inside a warranty now at this stage, because um, there is a lack of understanding there, isn't there, towards... It's been you have to kind of mind them like a baby. You do. In terms of if you don't want to get problems down the line. So this preventative maintenance is the, is the big thing now, really, yeah. compared with before preventative maintenance was changing your oil. Just change your oil and change your oil filter and change your fuel filter. And that was it. That was your preventative maintenance. Like, it doesn't work even anymore. Even what we're saying about the, the big old engines, 1540 oil was the standard in the late 90s. And I, like I was a young lad changing oil in cars, yeah. And it done you. Change the oil in a Carina E, a six whole 6,000 mile interval or whatever it was, it done you for 12 months. Now there's lads, they're up and down to it low and here, they're racking it up in three months.